Hey everyone, let's talk about the recent sales that ComGrow has been having. They sell a lot of 3D printers, and if you bought a Creality machine from Amazon, you most likely got it from ComGrow. I've bought from them before, and I got an email promotion for a really good deal going on. But was it really that good of a deal? Let's go see. They were selling used Ender 3 printers for $80. That's insanely cheap for a 3D printer, so I ordered one with the influence that it's guaranteed. I opened the box, and... The build surface wasn't on the plate. The plate was pretty badly warped on one corner too. I didn't even have to use light to check for bleeding. You could clearly see how warped it was. I continue to unbox everything and I see another disturbance. The stepper motor isn't placed correctly. It doesn't appear to be bent, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. With the box empty, I see I'm not only missing a printing surface, but it's missing the M4 screws used to install the gantry rail. Then I remembered the empty plastic bag taped to the build plate when I first opened the box. I assume now that this is to let me know that the screws were missing. Anyways, I tightened the hotbed's V-wheels to stop it from wobbling. The frame also needed to be straightened because it wasn't level. It was rocking on the table I had it on. Not really a problem there, I figured there would be extra tinkering involved with a used printer. When I put the vertical rails on, I noticed they are not square. I could try a few fixes for that, but I'd rather just get them replaced. Well, I got to the point where I couldn't go any further because of the missing screws, so I decided to set the project aside to go email Comgro. Well, I let them know about the missing build plate and the screws, but after a few days of no response, I went to the hardware store to get the M4 screws myself. And this led to an even bigger issue because the screws don't even fit into the rail. The threads that were bored into this thing are just slightly too small, and the M4 screws won't go in. I even tried to screw off this machine and it still wouldn't work. And it looks like I wasn't the first one to have this problem because there's metal shavings all over. I sent another email to ComGrow customer service about the missing parts and the issue I'm having with this rail, and this is the response they gave me. Sorry that we don't have the part you need for sale, and about whether it will come with a build surface, sorry, I have no idea. They have no idea if the printer comes with a printing surface to print on? Well, it's a wear and tear part, and I have a few extras laying around that I could use. But the screws and the rail, those are things that you need to get the thing printing, or to even function at all. So around the same time I got that email, I also got a promotional email from ComGrow again. A bundle sale. Wait, 10 Ender 3 printers for $300? That is insane. That's $30 a printer. Also, the single used Ender 3 is $10 cheaper than when I ordered it a few days earlier. I opened it up to see they changed the page for the sale. It had then said that the used Ender 3s come with no returns, no guarantees. It also stated that they might be missing parts. What? If the sales page said that when I ordered it, I would not have ordered it. This is basically a printer that someone sent back to Amazon and is sold as is now. Now, here's a lesson for those that don't know. Always screenshot the product pages when you buy something. I didn't screenshot anything and the sale's over now, it's all gone. It looks like they were just clearing out all of the Ender 3 models because it's not listed on the site anymore. It looks like they no longer have the basic Ender 3 model. And this brings me to lesson two, screenshots. Always take screenshots whenever you buy anything online. Now back to the sale, knowing that these are pretty much sold as is, nah, I don't think it's worth $80 or even $70 for all the trouble. You're pretty much getting most of the parts of a 3D printer and it might work, but I would have more faith ordering used from eBay. Now, 10 for $300, that's a different story. If you were around for that one day clearance sale and got 10 of these, that may be worth it. Out of 10 of these printers, I'm assuming that you could mix and match different parts and at least get five working printers out of it. Maybe along with extra parts. Of course, I still haven't been able to test out any of the electronics or anything yet. Now I'm going to try again reaching out to ComGrow to see if they can give me a better response than the last one I got. I'm also going to take a rail off this and put it on here just to test out everything and see if it actually runs. I'll have a follow-up video for that soon. If you could get 5 printers out of the 10 that actually function, that would make them 60 bucks each along with the extra parts. That would be an amazing deal if you like to tinker and are willing to build some Frankenstein machines. Now if anyone bought from this bulk clearance sale, I'd be curious to know what condition the printers were in. So let me know. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you soon. Before you leave, here's lesson number three, and this is a big one. 
always take screenshots everywhere, even Amazon. I've saved hundreds of dollars because of proof that I had from screenshots. Check out this print screen button available on all Windows PCs. Oh, look at this one. Push it, push it. Ooh, here's another trick. Windows key, shift and S. Snipping tool. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful or entertaining. If so, let me know what you think in the comments. It's been tough getting videos up lately with everything going on, but I'm working towards getting them up more frequently. Be sure to subscribe to 3D Vibes so you don't miss any. Hitting the like button and subscribing are great ways to support the channel. And thanks again. I'll talk to you all again soon.